Hey guys, this is Jessica Rideau here at Reverb to help you figure out what bass drum sound is right for your style and genre. Let's kick things off. First up, we're gonna use a bigger drum to go for that retro old school classic rock sound. To get that big, boomy rock sound, you want to use either a 24 or a 26 inch kick drum that's fairly shallow. And today we have a vintage Tama Imperial Star. The larger diameter with a thin mahogany or maple shell will help you get the sounds that you hear on classic rock records such as Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple. With this drum, we are going for a tight, fat kick drum sound that you would hear in something like funk or dance music. For this style, you're going to want a smaller drum that is still fairly shallow because it's going to give you that nice, controlled, punchy sound. Today, we have a 14 by 22 CNC player date kick drum. For a big sound with a really quick decay, like one you would hear on a Wolfpack record, this is the drum for you. So our next style is metal, and because we want much less resonance and more punch, we're going to use a 22-inch drum that's much deeper so we can get a shorter, more machine gun-like attack. So this drum is a Sonor SQ-1 that's 17 and a half by 22 inches that features a thick birch shell. A darker sounding tone wood like birch or walnut is an excellent choice for this style of music. So due to the technical nature of metal and the complicated patterns that are played, you really want a drum that's going to cut through the mix. Think bands like Slayer, Meshuggah, Periphery. Is that good enough? <laughs> For our next style, we're going for an all-around studio pop rock kind of sound. We're going to use a smaller diameter kick drum that still has a little bit of extra depth so we could get that nice punchy sound but still retain that warmth. The drum that we have here today is a 16 by 20 Gretsch Brooklyn kick drum and it has a maple poplar shell. The smaller diameter and the maple in the shell allow you to tune the drum lower so that you could get a nice controlled sound in the studio. If you want to hear a kick drum like this in action, just turn on the radio because it's used in so many recordings. Our next and last example is going to be for jazz. So this drum is much smaller and shallower, and that means it's gonna be able to be tuned a little bit higher and have a more melodic tone and softer attack. This drum is a 14 by 18 Ludwig Classic Maple Shell. It's 100% maple, which allows a much wider uh, tuning range so you could get that higher pitched, more melodic tone. You can hear sounds like this all over classic bop records from the 50s and 60s all the way till today. Okay guys, that was five different kick drums for five different genres, but play by your own rules. All of these drums can be used in a variety of ways, and we'd love to hear what kick drums you use in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.